Ghana and the U.S. have signed a memorandum of understanding to promote investment and economic relations between them. The development took place at the Jubilee House when the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Wilbur Rose, called on President Ekufuado. Edward Nyako reports. The first time Ghana and the U.S. signed an MOU of this nature was in the 1960s, during the era of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It was as a result of that MOU that the Americans supported Ghana to build the Akosumbu Dam to supply power to Valko, which was an American investment. The latest MOU signed by the two countries will cover 11 areas including energy, railway, agriculture, among others. The U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Robert Rose, and Ghana's Minister for Finance, Mr. Ken Ufriata, signed the MOU. Later on, a Deputy Minister of Information, Mr. Kojo Ponkrumah, said the agreement indicates the commitment of the U.S. to invest in Ghana's economy. Industrialization is actually number one on the agenda. It specifically mentions our one district, one factory uh, agenda and how American organizations can, with the assistance of the American government, partner Ghanaian organizations to uh, continue with where we are now. It talks about railway, it talks about infrastructure, um, agriculture as well, and particularly mentions energy. You know that recently ExxonMobil um, you know, uh, took up a spot in the upstream industry. We are looking to some more um, American organizations to take spots, particularly in the upstream petroleum uh, sector. For all of these things that we are jointly doing, or we will be doing with the Americans, the idea is to speed up our rate of growth to ensure that there are a lot of jobs in it, wealth is created in there, and eventually we're able to transform our society using instruments such as this. U.S. is one of Ghana's leading trading partners, and this year witnessed the entry of U.S. oil giant ExxonMobil in Ghana's upstream oil industry. Edward Nyako, reporting for GBC 24.